Now, so those that have been offending you, that have been working bad against you, go confess. As this man don't come to confess, my prayers for you, you that is hearing me, you my lovely, correct and lovely people. Now, so those who that have been going against you, planning you, planning evil against you, this is how they are going to confess before you and you will forgive them in Jesus name. Amen. Hello, my lovely people. You are welcome back to my channel. I greet you according to your time and according to the time you are seeing this video. How are you doing? I hope you are good. So we don't carry another bonge this come. Please, before we sub we proceed, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please. What are you still waiting for? Hit the subscribe button. Let it hit. So my people, allegedly, hey. Oh, <laughs> If they look for you spiritually, they no get you, they go come physically. Now then you go show show them say you pass them. Yes. As you don't they hear allegedly that Auntie um Olori Queen Naomi that she have been pra uh, going for to the palace for cleansing. Uh, they say spiritual cleansing a be be ritual, I don't know which one they said. Like, I know that the, the, the time the thing started, we heard that she went to the palace with some of her prayer warriors. And they have been praying. I think she had 21 days to pray in that palace. And that is the prayer that she had been going. Although we, some, some people will tell you that she had been going for uh, cleansing. A be, uh, no, ritual. For ritual. I don't know. Anyone. So, but I know that she had been going to the palace for long now and she have been going there to preach uh, to pray yes you know that she need to sanctify that palace so that it will be okay for her and then to stay when they will come back to the palace because what we are seeing right now allegedly with all of, all of this thing we have been hearing concerning the palace concerning the oloris uh -huh. i don't know how all of this thing is sounding the, the palace need to be cleansed and sanctified so that it will be okay for somebody like Tadeni Kawa and Kwenomi to stay there. So my people know, we can they hear say, allegedly, that that time that Kwenomi started coming for that prayers in the palace, and with all the, all the arrangements and the, uh, not only just that, we heard that the king also shared Ojeja Mall and Ojeja Hotel. They said that the king gave Tadeneka 50% of Ojeja Mall and Ojeja Hotel. Uh, we heard also that he gave Dr. Elizabeth 20%, uh, the Adeola and Adewa Miwa 10%, you see. And the, the rest of the 20% is left for him alone so but with what we heard and all that we have been hearing concerning these people hmm, we heard that they have not been happy with the sharing and they don't want Kunomi to come back to the palace that is another thing they are very much unhappy with Kunomi to the extent that they even gang up and sent a guy that went to write something in Quinomi's car. So they said that how the thing started was that Quinomi seeing that she's about to come back to the palace and the king have shared the Ajaja more. She is now the she, she now have greater percent of the Ajaja more. And she's supposed to know those people working in that Ajaja more. All the staffs, all the people, all the workers there. So she came to the palace one day and told the king that it is important for him to take her to that Ojoja Mall and Ojoja Hotel for proper introduction so that these people will know that she is partaker of this company, uh, be this hotel, I'll be this waiting they call her. Uh -huh. So that they, when they see her there, they will not feel like, what has she come here to do, you know? So the king said that this is a very good idea, that it should be done. So the king now took uh, Queen Naomi 
to that Ojeja Hotel and Odija Mall. And there, he was doing the introduction as supposed to. So after the introduction that time, it's not this thing did not happen now. That was in, the first time Kunomi started coming, when she finally made up her mind. And the king promised her that she's coming back. So she need to do this thing. So they said that when she finished with the Ojeja Mall introduction and all of that, you know, she did not come alone. All the time, anywhere they are going, they go with escorts, you know. And the Kunomi, just imagine where the king is going now. If the king is going, the king will be going on convoy. The king will be going with uh, securities that make sense. The same with Queen Naomi. And even this Oloris, we heard that wherever they are going, they are going with securities. Because they are queen. And they are queen, no be small queen. Their own queen, a big, big, big queen. Despite the fact that we are hearing all of this gist about them. But they are still queen. And their queen still makes sense. So let's just say the truth. So my people, as we heard, they said that when Kunomi finished with that, Kunomi came out to enter her car. On getting to her car, she saw something they used red. Is it red paint? Or, or, or be red paint, or be red marker. To write, uh, if you know what is good for you, stay away from only of Ife. Or you are going to pay with your life. Hey, my people, Kunomi was like, what is this? Who said, who, who did this? They said that immediately they saw that thing, boldly written in her car. Those people that came with her was telling her, oh no, you don't have to enter the car again, enter another car. She said no, that she's going to enter this car. This is her car. Okay, because they write this in so that she will start being scared of them, Abby. Now lie you. She told, uh, she prayed immediately. And told some of the guys to clean up that thing. And they clean it off immediately. That thing might be in the glass now. So the two will not be the two will not stick immediately. So they clean it off and Kunami enter her car. She prayed again and she entered her car and zoom off. Back to her house in Akure. Because she's not going back to the palace again. Okay, another day she will not hear that. After that thing happened. The guy that did that thing now stormed the palace. It's not just immediately after that day, but you know, the guy was like maybe she was he was restless. He stormed the palace and told the and told Kunomi that uh, he's one that did that thing that day. That he was desperate. He had one carryover in school and needed to sort out things so that she will she will pass the course. And the guy that he told the person that he told that he need money. Said that if he can do this kind of job, that he's going to get money, and he was desperate. He don't know what to do. That is why he was involved in that kind of act. And since then, during that time, he was writing that in the Kunomi's car. That the paint he was using to write that and entered her eyes, and he couldn't see clearly to read book again. And he's in school. That please, Kunomi should forgive him. And they said that Kunomi forgave him. And ask him, are you, uh, is it that you, you have repented that be because of this in the enter your eyes that you want to come and plead for forgiveness? He said that uh, he have re repented, he will not do it again. I could only forgive him and also find some money for him. That is it, my people. It's good to be a good woman, no? seriously. As we heard and I saw we can share with you, please, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you and God bless you. Love you guys. Bye.